Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Dustin. It's Gas Blocks today on JP Product Focus. So when we get into the operating system of your AR-15, there's a lot of components to look at. But I always feel like the first place I want to start at is the gas block. Because then I can figure out what I want to run for the rest of my system. Yeah, absolutely. The, the gas block, I mean, ultimately is, is going to tie everything together. Like yep. you said, it's, it's what creates that balance. It's your kind of your carburetor to get that tune <laughs> across the system. So regardless of whether you're running a low mass carrier and an H2 buffer system mm -hmm. or full low mass, whatever, you know, whatever range, being able to control the gas, you know, in a, in a fine manner is going to allow you to get that rifle running optimally. Right. Now, of course, I, I pick my gas block if I'm going to build a rifle first. Like, I'm going to go with the gas block that I can choose. But let's say I already have a complete system. Is there a way to break that down on the gas blocks? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's pretty common sizes for uh, the gas block mounting journals on barrel. On barrel. So you just figure out what size you've got. Um, look at the inside diameter of the handguard, make sure the gas block that you're looking at is gonna fit. And it's a huge improvement, it's well worthwhile just to pull that handguard tube off, switch them over, and uh, get that tunability. You can really correct the timing, soften that recoil impulse, uh, adjust for different ammos, suppressor use. It's a wide, wide world. All right, yeah, so each, every one of these gas blocks is adjustable. Yep. So let's break it down. Let's start with this guy and let's work our way sure. towards you. So what do we got here? Absolutely. So it's a JP GS 8D. So it's the click detent adjustable version. Now we also have a uh, JP GS 8, which looks exactly the same, which is why we don't have it out here. It's just infinitely adjustable and then has a lock screw from the front. So okay. the 8D is the click detent adjustable version. So it has five click detent positions per rotation of that adjustment screw. And so not five total, but five per rotation. So a lot of adjustment in there. Um, is gonna be set up for mostly those bull barrels, like I said, 0.936 mounting surface, two-piece design, inc incredibly cr strong clamping uh, design on there, four screws on each side, so a little overkill on that, but we like that even clamping force right. so that you know we're applying those forces across the whole, th the whole piece. So then we go, we move on to this guy. Sure, so these guys are their JPGS-5B and JPGS-5S. They're a .750 one-piece split bottom design, so clamp style, uh, and they're infinitely adjustable. So again, lock screw from the front, gas adjustment screw from the side. Uh, you can make as small or large of adjustment as possible or as, as necessary. So again, that system right. allows you to really fine tune um, the setup and 416 stainless, you know, either in that matte stainless or QPQ finish. So yeah. incredibly durable. So this is the gas block I actually started out with. Yep. Now I've moved on to this guy. So let's yep. break that one down. So that's another two-piece design. That one's also made out of 416 stainless, QPQ finish, so super durable. Um, top and bottom half, six screws, uh, three on each side, to give that really good even clamping force. And when you think about how that, that type of clamping style setup, it, it really helps to pull, uh, you know, and make a great seal. It pulls the material around the barrel, works incredibly well. So that is a click detent version that we make for the .750 gas block mounting surface, so that JPGS-9D. Now on that one, that has six click detent posi positions per rotation of the gas adjustment screw, so even a little bit finer adjustment, really nice setup there. So two reasons I went with this guy. Uh, two piece, so if I have a pin and weld, I can take it off and replace it without yep. having to cut the gas block off, which I've had to do before. Also, it's low profile. So if somebody out there wants to run a smaller handguard, they can get it under there with that, yep, with the, that gas block. Yep, and we have the dimensions of all of our gas blocks on our website. So if, if you go in, you look at a particular one, there's going to be an image that has a line drawing so you can verify, you know, based on your handguard, which one's going to fit. So what's this guy? So that's kind of, that was a, one that came after that JPGS 9D. We didn't used to do a .875 gas block, but we saw a real need for it. Um, so the JPGS 10D is that, is that uh, the part that's gonna fill that need. So again, six click detents per uh, rotation of the gas adjustment screw, real quick adjustment, 416 stainless material, black QPQ finish, just a really robust, strong part, nice like, low profile. Again, if you, you know, want to have a pin and weld that's going to fit on there. Yep. It looks like it's more low profile. Yeah, absolutely. Really nice low profile setup on that one. Okay. Now, so let's move into this guy. This guy is a little different than the rest of our gas blocks here, 
But this, there's a, a, a demand for this gas yep. block as well. Yeah, absolutely. So this is going to be something that was originally designed a little bit more for, for the military law enforcement type market, where uh, maybe we were building multiple, you know, 510 rifles for mm -hmm. an agency that are all going to be run suppressed or all going to be running the same kits. And so on this style, you don't have as much of that infinitely adjustable nature to it. You're actually going to have uh, three positions plus a, an off position. Um, and on this, on the barrel of this uh, piece here, it actually you would you would actually drill or open the ports for each of those selected positions. So you tune it, you pre-tune it when you build the rifle, get everything set up, and now you can easily switch between that suppressed, unsuppressed, or uh, you know plus gas setting right. or off. So this one is pretty slick. Um, you would have seen it on on some of the rifles out there, um, maybe in a video game. Uh, so they were really highly sought after, but they work incredibly well. And again, they, they allow you to set up that, that particular set where you've got, you know the configuration of the rifle, yep. you know which suppressor's going on it. Uh, you don't need the little little infinite adjustability. You've got a, a super dead reliable setup with those positions. Yeah, this one's designed specifically for the can that you're gonna run, the ammo you're gonna run. It is dedicated just for that rifle. Yep, and super robust, so awesome. yeah. So let's get into this more traditional looking yep. uh, gas block. I have to say, this is probably my favorite gas block. I want to build a rifle just so I can run that on there because it is adjustable and it's your ATF yeah. front sight. You know, there's a lot of guys that, that want to have a traditional style or traditional look to the rifle or they like shooting irons and hey, more power to them. If you can shoot iron sights really well, that's uh, it's impressive to me, mm -hmm. especially out a great distance. Um, but it doesn't take away from the need that you want to be able to tune your rifle in. If you want to shoot irons out to a long distance, then you need a rifle that's running right, that's that's capable of the accuracy, and part of that is getting everything you know running smooth, right. running the timing correct. So uh, the JP GS two FS is the part number for this one. Uh, you got your gas block adjustment here, lock feature from the front, uh, split bottom design, so clamp on design as well, um, and works incredibly well, 416 stainless, QPQ finish, so again, incredibly durable. So that's a really slick setup. So it doesn't matter what you got, if you're gonna build your own rifle from scratch at home, and or if you already have a rifle that you bought, you just need to make some adjustments to it, we've got the gas blocks to take care of you uh, on all those situations. Absolutely, and if you have questions on how to tune the gas block, uh, we've got a video on that on our YouTube channel. We'll put a link below so you can get to that uh, and learn how to properly adjust your gas block. You can check out all these gas blocks at jprifles.com. Go under the rifle parts menu and go to gas systems. You'll find them there.